Welcome to the new real estate reality. Here are the latest numbers from the California Association of Realtors. Hi, I'm Mac Rogers, real estate broker here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Welcome to the channel. The California housing market is in serious trouble. Enormous increases in active listings or housing supply that was just reported by the California Association of Realtors. And the enormous decrease in home sales and pending home sales. The housing market in California continued to decline in June as demand for houses dropped to levels not seen in the previous two years and saw its greatest decline since May of 2020. Hey, quick housekeeping. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, if you do, then please click the like button. Again, this is the latest from the California Association of Realtors. So with that said, I'm going to take a deep dive into what we're seeing right now for the housing market in California. This is an eye opener and some pretty alarming trends we're seeing right now. Let me share with you a snapshot of what is being reported. These are the latest numbers, which is for June. Look at this, existing home sales or sales of previously own homes they have decreased by 20.9 percent from a year ago they have decreased by 10.9 percent on a year to date as well prices on the other hand are still up the median sold price for a home in California is 863,000 when compared to a year ago, a slight increase. Unsold inventory is up 47% year to year and the median days on the market climbed to 11 days. Let's look at the numbers regionally. SoCal existing home sales numbers are down 27.1 year to year and almost 15% year to date. The median sales price is up 8.4% year to year. That is still a big increase unsold inventory stands at 2.5 months by the way what that means is that if there were no other properties to come on the market for sale it will take two and a half months at the current sales space to sell the inventory that's still pretty good median days on the market is 10 days which is still fast and the sales to list price is at 100.1.5 this means that on average homes are selling 1.5 percent over the list price not bad moving on to the central close and as you can see the same story here year to year and year to date both down 26.3 percent and 21.4 percent respectively median home price is up 10.1 percent that's still very good inventory is at 2.4 months median days on the market is at 10 and the list to sell is slightly higher at 0.3 percent moving on to the central valley it's a pretty much the same pattern here existing home sales down both year to year and year to date home price up 10 percent unsold inventory at 2.5 months days on the market slightly lower which means it's only taking eight days in the central valley to sell a home or go pending in the list to sell 0.5 percent over list moving on to the bay area where i am again the same pattern just slightly different number existing home sales down almost 27 percent year to year and down a little over 16 percent year to date prices went up a modest 3.7 percent days on the market is getting longer at 12 but 12 days is still fast the sales to list uh, price ratio is at 104.4 percent on average properties are still getting bid up over four percent oh i forgot to mention unsold inventory stands at two months moving on to the far north existing home sales both down year to year and year to date Home price is up 5.3%. Unsold inventory is up 3.2 months. Median days on the market is 15 days. Sales to list is at 100%. Not a lot of overbidding in the far north. That's what's going on regionally around the state. As you can see, the same pattern pretty much throughout the state, which is sales down, prices still up, inventory starting to climb, days on the market climbing as well, list to sell ratio is starting to normalize i do believe that moving forward we can expect more of the same look at the sales numbers month to month in decline year to date in decline year to year in decline what's more is that we've had the biggest decline in sales since the pandemic the socal region had the biggest decline in sales followed by the bay area the central valley and the far north are not far behind just a couple of percentage points below 20 percent when home prices were increasing a lot of the sales were happening in the higher end of the market meaning million dollar homes I think this number uh, or these numbers is just being pulled up by the metro area such as LA, Bay Area, and San Diego where a lot of the mega million sales were happening. Let's look at the, dec the decline in, in sales. This time the decline is happening or the drop in sales is happening in all price segments. 
this means that all segments are affected. It's tapering all, the, all around, which is scary because that means even the higher income bracket people that used to be buying these million plus homes are not out there. I think this has a lot to do with how the economy and how everyone just keeps talking about a recession. Pending sales had the worst decline since the pandemic. Not surprising since sales are also down big. But this is further proof that the next month, the sales numbers will go down again. After all, pending sales is a leading indicator of future closed sales. Also, the pending sales number is declining in all price segments. Here's one interesting fact. Condos are selling slightly faster than single family detached homes. My theory on this is because condos are much cheaper than single family detached homes and some buyers would rather buy a condo than rent a house. This next graph shows how prices are slowing down. It's still clearly up, but definitely appreciation is slowing down. I'm one of the proponents of prices will just slow down in appreciation and not, not go down, but with what I'm seeing in my local market, I believe that there is a chance for a home price decline. The slowdown that we are experiencing is much faster. Inventory is uh, that's coming on the market is starting to pile up. And if the Fed's hike rates again, I think we are in for a very rough fall in winter season. Going back to condos, with demand for condos higher, the median price growth continued to outpace single family homes makes sense. As a result of all these, the market is starting to be less competitive. Take a look at these next graphs. It's the percentage of homes sold above asking price by county. The top five is located here in the Bay Area. San Francisco leading the way at 88%. These next graphs that I will share are all the details of what is going on with the sales prices. Check them out. Pause the video if you have to. Let's look at all the details of what's going on with inventory. As you can see from a year ago, inventory was at 1.7 months versus 2.5 now. And inventory is now back to or higher than pre-pandemic levels. This is a great sign for buyers. Buyers, did you know that you can buy down points to lower your mortgage interest rates? This can help you lower your monthly mortgage payment. Check with your lender or comment below. Now back to inventory. There are more active listings now. The yellow bar is 2022. Look, from Jan look here from January to June, it just keeps going up and more likely in July, this will go up again. So overall, supply is increasing while demand is going down. I think we are getting to a point where supply will be going up faster while demand keeps shrinking. And this is why I believe the likelihood of a home, uh, home prices going down is inevitable. Here you see listings are up in all regions. This graph shows listing by county. Del Norte, Plumas, Lassen, Sonoma, and Napa are the only counties that did not increase in inventory. Again, I believe that this will change in the coming months. I see the whole of California pretty much having a surge in inventory. We talked about days on the market uh, going up, but it's still fast from eight days to 11 days. Finally, I think worth talking about and something that I think in the beginning of the market shift causes a lot of confusion, that is price reduction. 35% of listings reduce their price by an average of 5%. I believe a majority of these price reductions are mainly sellers that have not accepted the fact that the market has shifted and they are still pricing their homes as if it was last year. If they were to price it correctly the first time around, price reductions wouldn't be this high. That's the latest report from the California Association of Realtors. Going forward, I believe we should expect more of the same if Number one, inflation keeps going up, which it is. Number two, obviously, if inflation keeps going up, the feds will keep increasing um, the borrowing rates. And number three, if the feds keep raising rates, mortgage rates follow. And number four, recession in the stock market. With those four, as long as consumers are worried, there will be a lot of buyers that, that's just gonna be waiting in the sidelines. Now, before I end this video, I wanna share with you another key measure of the housing market, or better yet, what companies that are in the business of building houses are saying about the housing market. This is the latest report according to the National Association of Home Builders, the monthly confidence indicator for home builders 
fell 12 points to 55 in July. The drop exceeded expectations by a wide margin. Wall Street Journal survey of economists predicted the index would be around 66, not 55. That's 10 percentage points. It is the second largest decrease in the index history. The index was at 81 year ago. The July index falling to 55 is at its lowest level since May of 2020. The three measurements that serve as the foundation for total builder confidence index decrease. Current sales conditions were measured dropped by 12 points. Prospective buyer traffic was tracked and it dropped by 11 points. And sales estimate for the coming six months, those expectations also dropped by 11 points. Nationwide, builder confidence was low. The Northeast dropped six points, the Midwest four points, the South eight points, and the West dropped 12 points. The big picture, the Federal Reserve's fight against inflation has resulted in full-fledged slump in the interest rate sensitive housing market. According to Freddie Mac, the average rate for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage increased by 21 basis points to 5.51% for the week ending in July 14. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, the number of mortgage applications made by home buyers decreased for the second consecutive week by 1.7% for the week ending July 8th. Some of the reasons cited for the index going down or the slowdown in construction or housing um, housing are production bottlenecks, rising home building costs, and high inflation. These are forcing many builders to halt or pause their construction because of the cost of land, construction, and financing exceeding the market value of the home. As a result, home builders are either doing or thinking about lowering prices in the preceding months to boost sales and or to prevent cancellations. Lots of cancellations going on. Some experts say that the new home builders should have seen this coming. How? Mortgage applications have dropped by more than a quarter over the first half of the year, and there is no end in sight for this continued downturn. Ian Shepherdson, chief economist at Pantheon Macroeconomics said, pretty soon anyone who has bought a home in recent months will be sitting at a loss. That's kind of scary, but you shouldn't be worried about it if you're thinking long term. The reason I mentioned this latest report from the National Association of Home Builders is to highlight the fact that the slowdown is not only happening in existing home sales, but also in new construction. And if the outlook of these companies are bad, we can pretty much be assured that it will get bad. At the beginning of all these things that are going on right now, I never believed for a moment that we could have a market crash. I firmly believe that we might have a crash as long as inflation is going crazy, mortgage rates keeps going up, and we end up in a long recession and people start losing jobs. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm totally wrong. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please click the like, subscribe, and share button. I'll see you on my next video.